1990, you got uh, traded by the Nets to the Bulls for um, uh, a couple of first round and second round picks. Mm-hmm. Was was this a surprise for you? And what do you think of your next destination, the Chicago yeah, Bulls? Yeah, it was. It, it was. It, I don't know that it was a surprise. It surprised me. I tell you what happened, man. I, uh, me and Bill Fitch, we didn't see eye to eye. We didn't get along at all. Um, and uh, you know, I, I thought that was my best season. Like you said, you know, led the team in scoring and um, just getting getting a good feel for the game at that time. So just kind of growing into my own. And for him to trade me. Um, because of of the relationship okay fine i'm okay with that Mm -hmm. but to trade me to chicago i wasn't okay with that okay because you know coming off my best season and leading jersey and scoring uh to going somewhere playing behind the best player uh to play the game i wasn't happy and you know i I never forget the day i got traded i was at my basketball camp in, here in Toledo and um you know they came in and told me that I was traded I had just had surgery on my knee too uh you have you've been traded to Chicago you know um a lot of the kids were excited about that at the camp but I wasn't excited about that because I already knew what the situation was I watched mm-hmm. uh Sam Vincent yeah um, go uh, play behind Mike I watched Sadell three and mm-hmm. it's just you just don't get the minutes and again I just thought why there? You know, you're coming off of uh, averaging 16 points a game. Why not allow me to continue my growth? And start uh, somewhere else. Yeah. And start somewhere else. There you mm-hmm. go. And so I was, I was very, very, very not excited about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, like you said, all of a sudden, um, you know, you're playing uh, on a championship contending team, but behind the best player ever to play the game. Uh, did you, when coming in uh, to Chicago, did you ever talk openly to Jerry Krause um, and the Bulls front office about your role uh, with the team? Mm-hmm. 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 It was, it was, it was, it was said, man, that we would be able to play together a lot um, because Michael would move over to the point guard position. Okay, mm-hmm. um, but that you know we played a couple games together, but no major minutes. Uh, so what was said didn't actually happen. And even when it was said, I didn't believe that it would happen because, you know, BJ was playing, you know, he started playing well and John Paxson was playing well. And those two guys were at the point guard. So at the end of the day, man, it was, it was uh, disheartening to be traded there. Um, But there was an excitement because I got something out of, out of the trade Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that was a championship. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I gotta ask you, what was your relationship like uh, with Michael? We, you know, we we didn't have a bad relationship. I know, you know, some people read the Jordan Rules book, this and that, but you know, mm-hmm. Michael actually had given up some money in order to get me there um, mm-hmm. because the salaries were so high at that time, and and they didn't have uh, the, the they couldn't take over my contract at that time. Okay, mm-hmm. so he actually um, uh, gave up some money in order mm-hmm. to get me there. Now. Did we go out and, 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 and go to dinner together? No, we didn't do that. But, mm-hmm. you know, on that level, a lot of guys don't do that, you know. Uh, but I had my guys that I was with, you know, Stacey King, B.J. Mm-hmm. Armstrong, uh, Cliff Levingston, mm-hmm. you know, guys that, uh, you know, I still break bread with. And, you know, but it, it, we didn't have a bad relationship. I don't want people to think we had a bad relationship. Mm-hmm. 